I am Nilima with Creative Art, bringing you the best art tutorials on YouTube. So if you're an art lover, do consider subscribing and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any important updates on our art tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to use the ready-made ceramic cones from Itsy Bitsy and they do come in so many different colors. This is how they look. It is a very simple concoction of ceramic powder, white glue and acrylic color. So you can buy them online from Itsy Bitsy just for rupees 25 and get additional 5% off on any online purchase you make from Itsy Bitsy just by using my code which is NILIMA5 N-I-L-I-M-A-5 So either you can buy them online just for rupees 25 or else you can also make them at home. But now friends, let's see what we can make out of these colorful cones. In today's tutorial, we will be making this beautiful hummingbird with this amazing and bright background. So now let's start the tutorial friends. First of all, we'll start by priming our base and then coloring it black. As this time, I'm going to use a pre-primed canvas board so we can skip the priming part and directly start by coloring the base using a black acrylic paint or chalk paint. This time, I'm going to use a black acrylic paint. So using a flat hair brush, start coloring the base as black. Now we'll let the base get dry for at least half an hour and then we can start doing our next step. After half an hour, the base is dry completely. So using a pencil, do a very simple sketch and a background full of patterns just as you like. I have already done it and this is how it looks. It is just partially visible. For me, it's a very very simple sketch of a bird sitting on a branch and a few spiral patterns which will be followed with lines. These are all the different colors of ceramic cone liners I have. Some are ready made from Itsy Bitsy and some are homemade by me. So now let's start doing the cone work. First of all, I'm using a yellow cone liner to outline my sketch. Now using a black cone liner, I'm going to make a big dot which is going to represent the eye. This big dot is enough. Now I'm going to use a light pink color cone and make this beautiful detailings according to my requirement. Now I'm going to use the white cone liner. And I'm willing to add a little bit of blue with the same white cone liner in this way. I'm going to use a purple cone. This is a homemade cone I'm using. Now again, I'm going to use white cone liner. I'm going to use a chocolate brown color.
Now after making the bird and the branch, let's start doing the background designing part. For that, first of all, I'm going to use a blue color ceramic cone and I'm going to start drawing some spiral designs randomly. Now after making the spirals, I'm going to make few rounds using pink ceramic cone. I'm going to use a yellow color ceramic cone. And now friends, our cone work is finally completed and this is how beautiful it looks. Each time I'm getting better and better doing this cone work for every painting. So I would suggest you to do at least two to three paintings to get this kind of handwork yourself. Now friends, it's time for our last and important step which is varnishing. And for that, I'm going to use the decor gloss varnish from Little Birdie. You have to use varnish only after your painting is dry for at least 24 hours. Then give two coatings of this gloss varnish. Let it get dry for more 24 hours and then you are ready to place your painting and brighten up your homes. So now let's see how we can make these beautiful cone liners at home. First of all, we are going to need ceramic powder. So this is how it looks. I have stored it in a container. Next, we are going to need white glue. This time, I am going to use Fevicol MR and some acrylic colors. So for brighter colors, I like to use neon. Mix it with some original colors like pink. Should be mixed with neon pink to get a brighter look. Orange should be mixed with neon orange to get a brighter look. And a measuring spoon. So first of all, we'll start by preparing a cone and for that, I'm going to use the wrapping paper. So this is a wrapping paper of a deco transfer sheet, which I'm going to cut into rectangular pieces so that I can make cone out of these sheets. I never throw any type of plastic, simply use it again for something. To make a cone, simply hold the wrapping plastic in this way. Just the one third part of the plastic. Place your finger in this way and then from the other hand, start twisting the other end and then roll it. Keep your two fingers a little pressure down here so that you can roll it and everything becomes a cone like this. When you have a little remaining part like this one, use a tape. Place it on that part and then again start rolling. So now here you have got a cone. We have sealed one edge which is this. Using a tape seal another edge which is right here. And this is how you get a cone. In the same way you can make four different cones out of one pack. Now to make the paste we are going to need two spoons of ceramic powder. So here I am going to add two spoons of ceramic powder in each of the bowl. One spoon of white glue and 
one spoon of color so if your color is a little thick like this one you can add a little bit of water but if your color is thin you can directly add it in if you want to make a metallic cone liner you can use this tinted metallic paint and add it according to your requirement and then mix in everything very well till you get a very fine and thick paste this one is going to need a little bit of water because the color was thick so here we have got one required color and for this cup I'm going to add green acrylic color this is parrot green and I'm going to use a spoon to mix everything together make sure that all three contents are mixed very well and there are no lumps after mixing so take your time in this part after mixing both the paste this is how it looks it is completely lump free and this is how thick it is so now let's start pouring them in a cone this is the cone and i definitely want the cone to be filled only one third part not completely hold the cone and start pouring in the ceramic paste now here you can see friends this is how long my cone is and i have only filled the cone till two third one third is still remaining so this will be helpful for us to do the packing of the cone in the same way fill the next cone fill only two third part of the cone and keep the rest part remaining now using tape start packing the top part of the cone in this way fold it like one fold it two and then like this then use the tape and seal the top part so this is how you can make a cone yourself at home or you can directly buy it from Etsy Bitsy. They cost you just rupees 25. Do come in variant colors and if you buy them online, you also get 5% additional discount just by using my code which is Nalima5. I hope friends you did like this video because this was the easiest and the most creative thing you can do using a simple ceramic cone. So do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial. And if you do like my videos friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.